says. Just gotta give me one second, everybody. I was having some internet troubles. Okay, we're on. Gotcha. Let me go ahead and mess with the tags here. I think <clears throat> uh, before I quit today, and then a call started with his mom, Rio, and I just like, <laughs> just like quit right away. So we'll see if uh, that call picks back up. Um, because I didn't want to miss the dialogue. Oh, Ma left me a message. There we go. Miles, about the stolen museum pieces. I went to the impound yard and saw an old phone number on that truck you chased down. I may be onto something. Can you come meet your mama for lunch at the park by my office? Chop cheese on me. Any clue is a good clue. If we can't find that truck, the museum will have to close. Plus, I never turn out a chopped cheese. All right, so there we go. It wasn't a very long call, so I'm happy. But like, as soon as it started, I was like, nope, gotta back out. All right, we're gonna close this guy. Yep, there we are. All right, and we got the stream up on the phone. Yeah, it kind of sucks. I've been rewatching them, sort of, like a little bit here and there. And uh, I just wish that the internet connection was sufficient enough to be able to stream and um to be able to stream in 1080 because there are some things that get missed like when you're going through um oh shit when you're going through like heavy combat it kind of looks all grainy but once i get like a pc set up hopefully Hey oh, friends, I have got a very special episode for you today. Here to dish about all things going on in Harlem recently is the incredible and brilliant Councilwoman Rio Morales. Good to have you back, Rio. Good to be back, Danica. So, we've been seeing reports of an attempted robbery in Harlem? Unfortunately. But the Harlem Cultural Center is home to artifacts from resilient musicians of color. What better way to honor them than to be equally resilient? We'll recover just fine. If there's one thing I love, it's optimism. And I heard Spider-Man might have been involved. What can I say? Art thieves never expect to fake out. Or Spider-Man. You'd think they'd learn to plan for both. <laughs> right? So Spider-Man was on the scene. That's great. Think he's handsome under that mask? That's what they say. Well, New York wouldn't be the same without him. Thanks, Rio. Give it up for Rio Morales, who graciously lent us her time. Any advice for our audience before we head out? If you need help, ask for it. No one important will judge you. Promise. Oh, I couldn't have said it better myself. Manic out! Thanks. Let's ride this wind current here. Another one. I see that one. I, I don't know if I'm gonna have the oomph to get to it though. Let me. Let me. Ah. Yeah, buddy. I'm able to do it. Looks like. Looks like this might take us like directly to where we need to go. Oh. Got my window open right now, um, so my dogs can hear outside. Unfortunately, which means that there might be some yip yapping going on, but it's okay. Um, but what I was talking about before was that I, you know, hopefully by the end of the year, or start of next year, I'll be able to get my PC set up and get some better recordings up. Maybe I would just do like take like a day off and do a couple long streams chop them up or you know I would just record them straight to the computer and then you know edit them down because the streaming's great you know it's allowing me to put out content and everything but at the same time you know like I was just saying if my dog is barking I can't you know chop that out if you know there's a kid 
screaming in the neighborhood or something, I'm not going to be able to chop that out either. And, you know, obviously I can only stream in 720 with the internet connection I have now. But if I was to, uh, you know, I could capture potentially in 4K um, and upload in 1080, I believe. I don't know if YouTube has 4K broadcasting yet. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, what the hell was that? So the phone number on the impounded truck was the pre-1970s kind with letters. Harlem 7, 4321. Did the truck that got away have the same one? Yeah. But I'm not sure I'm following. <laughs> Pre-1970s trucks were terrible polluters because they had no catalytic converters. My office did an initiative to get them off the roads. So there are now very few old trucks in this neighborhood. Si tuviéramos alguna forma de localizarlo. I got an idea. Nice work, Ma. Back in business. <laughs> if Ma's Yankee. right about those trucks, they probably left behind some kind of residue. Hey, Miles. I heard there's a star-studded gala at the museum. If I find the missing pieces, yeah. Never been to a gala before. Do you want to go? Thought you'd never ask. What should I wear? Here's black, Loki glam. Bro, let me focus. Right. Uh, good luck. Where is this chest? Am I missing it? Is it not spawning because of the mission we're on? Or is this thing just not here? I don't even hear it flashing. Hmm. Curious. Oh, but another thing I'm looking forward to is getting a nice mic that can better, because I got a little crappy PlayStation headset mic right now, but if I, you know, have something like a condenser that can kind of equal out my loud screams, then, you know, the mic doesn't peak and everything, that'd be awesome. And, you know, also my silk, soothy, soothing, smooth, uh, sultry singing voice as well. Get that uh, excellent crisp mic quality so you can hear all the voice cracks and off-tune notes. I can't believe people would do this. I was so excited about this exhibit. The whole museum, really. Look, this is an unfortunate situation I'm in here. I mean, you know how much I care about protecting the collective history of this community. I do, which is why I hope this won't derail your support. Okay, let's see if those trucks left anything behind. Spider-Man's here. Spider-Man, any news? Working on some new leads. I'll let you know. This looks like it could be something well, from a prehistoric heist well, truck. You know my feelings. <sighs> it's about to Smell that sulfur. At all costs. Definitely from an old engine. Maybe I yeah. can it further. To identify the substance, we need to get rid of the contaminants. Hey, Spider-Man. Now we know you're helping on this. You're good. Thanks. That's just gonna destroy all of those. Yep. And then this one. And this one. Got cool. It. Aromatic hydrocarbon. This will never make it through a catalytic converter. Ethyl benzene. Hey, Ma, you were right. That truck was so old, it left a unique contaminant in its wake. Fantastic. Can you track it down? On it as we speak. I suddenly have hope we might really be able to find everything, pull off the gala, and save the museum. Whoa, 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 whoa. One thing at a time. Okay, I know. Well, be like careful. I take a nap. And let me know what you find. I think I knocked him down. Never mind. My bad. <laughs> Uh-oh, we got some fellas up here. Sorry, couldn't hear you. Anyway, we delivered everything we had. The rest of it fell off the truck. Then you better freaking find it! I understand, sir. We'll keep looking for the last item. He's sniffing us. 
What did I tell you? No. He'll pay when we deliver the saxophone. No, the saxophone. I think you know where. Settle down, Leo. The guy's loaded. Just need to make it happen. Okay, that's all of them. Let's open up that truck and get the rest of those museum pieces. Let's open up this pit. Ah, oh, it's empty, of course. Empty? They must have already given their boss whatever was in here. All roads seem to lead to that guy. Sounds like somebody's phone. Boss. Okay, so there's something out there they're still looking for. Charlie Parker's saxophone. So I found the second truck, but it was empty. Oh, no. But they lost one of the pieces somehow. Charlie Parker's saxophone. Oh, Miles, head over to C.J. Walker Park. Okay, why? One of our interns said she heard a guy talking about a saxophone he found. I didn't believe her at first. She's... Kind of a bochichera. If it's the one these guys lost, their boss seemed really interested in finding it. As he should be. Charlie Parker's a legend. That saxophone is priceless. <laughs> Who should I look for at the park? I don't have a name. They said a trumpet player was talking about it. Trumpet. Got it. Thanks, Piaranita. Let me know what happens. Te quiero. I didn't mean to do that. He just kind of went over there by himself. Am I going as Miles? I take it. Got to change clothes first. Yeah, Don't buddy. The festival. Okay. Where is this trumpet guy? Is there anybody else? It's a lot better today than it did when Fisk and his crew took it over. It's just basic drum circle. Hey, Miles. Steph, what's up? You here with Gloria? Nah, she's working. I just got here. Was looking for a trumpet player. You seen one anywhere? Yeah, Teo is here, playing his trumpet. Teo plays trumpet? Mm-hmm. I think he was over near that far gate. Great. Thanks, Steph. And say hi to Gloria for me. Yeah, we haven't seen Gloria yet. Um, who's this guy? Live! How you been? Good. Busy. How's business at the barbershop? Booming, my friend. How you liking those locks? I like them. Took my mom a little while, but I think I won her over. Ha! Well, just keep twisting. But they're looking good. Thanks. See you around. I hear him hitting that sick sax solo over there. Hey, Camilla. Miles, can I get you anything? Oh, uh, no thanks. I'm looking for Tail. Have you seen him? I've been busy in the truck, but I can hear him. Just follow the sound of his trumpet. Will do. Catch you later. So he's over there. Nothing over by these fellas. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Keep it going, Tail. <gasps> Spider Man! Hey, Spider Man. Hey, Miles. Tail. Sounding good, man. Wow, I didn't know you played the trumpet. I dabble, I dabble. Hey, I was actually going to call you. When I was in keynote music this morning getting my horn fixed, some kids brought in the sax they found on the street. I was thinking it could potentially be the one from the museum. I don't want to get anyone in trouble. We're trying to do the right thing. Yeah, 100%. You talking about keynote on Cathedral? Yeah, talk to Eugene. Thanks. Headed there right now. Trumpet sounds great, bro. Ah, found the sax. On my way to pick it up now. Ay, bendito. 
Angela will be so relieved. This just might save the museum. Hey, did you know Teo played the trumpet? He's pretty good, too. Had an audience and everything. The whole park was bumping. Precisely why this museum is so important. Music enriches our community and brings it together. Is that my mom or Councilwoman Morales talking? It's both. Ten cuidado, mijo. Oh, no. This doesn't look good. Hey, Spider-Man! I was about to put an alert in your app. What happened here? A couple of creepy guys just dragged Eugene out here. Definitely wasn't right. They went that way. Thanks. I'll check it out. This can't for any clues here. <laughs> Looks like Eugene might have been dragged that way. There were red dots on the I map already. I don't know what already. you're talking about. Come on, just tell us where it is. Hey, fellas, you want to learn to play music? There are better ways to do it. Man, here comes the rest of the band. You okay? A few bruises are okay, as long as they left me my keys. Here, take these and open my trunk. Charlie Parker saxophone. That's the real deal right there. I was getting ready to return to the museum, and those guys busted in. He used that to record his masterpiece, Ornithology, 1946. You a bird fan? <laughs> My dad was. I don't know much about old music. Mm, mm, oh. <laughs> when you hear an MC today, you syncopated accents, stress the offbeat, flow in and out of the rhythm. That ain't number bebop. I have to listen a little closely next time. I'll get this back to the museum right away. Then I gotta call my insurance company. Okay. Thanks, man. Right. Hmm. If I could get into the phone these guys were using to communicate with the mastermind. <laughs> All zeros is a number equivalent of password as a password. Just midnight rendezvous with a criminal mastermind. No biggie. Okay, so we gotta continue the main story so that we can get it to nighttime, I, I suppose. Who's this? Time Bring to take sucks. down the boss of this operation. Oh, never mind. Find the rest of those museum pieces. Fuck yeah, I'll do it now then. We going to it now. Wait, who's this fellow over here? Graffiti Trouble. Does it matter who does this one? Uh, strictly Miles on Graffiti Trouble. Okay. Um, let's do Hard Bop. Just continue on with this guy. I love a good undertone sax solo, though. Like sometimes there's too much going on for my for my head. 
I got headaches. It takes me back to band oh, room when you. I actually played trumpet. It was my first I'll instrument I ever played. Until the party starts. Okay. I tried piano. It was, I got okay. On our last delivery. When I get everything, yeah. where is it? Where is what? Lewis said you were bringing the saxophone. Lewis said. Lewis got picked up by the cops. He don't got no saxophone. You oh, set this meeting shit. up. No, we didn't. Now where's our money? Where is the saxophone? Darren? The big donor from the museum? What a fucking cunt. I better bust up this party and have a talk with him. I should get the whole bunch wrapped up before they hurt someone. We're fed up with... They're still on the way! Spider-Man, help me! I was just trying to get the stolen things back. Yeah, shut the hell up, dude. I can explain. That's gonna have to be a longer conversation. Well, that seems to be all of them. Let's get to the bottom of this with Darren. Coward. Oh, thank you, Spider-Man. I assure you, there's a very reasonable explanation. That seems extremely dubious. Wait till Councilwoman Morales hears you were involved in this. Leon's here! Time to exterminate the spider! There! Stay back! He's gone. Where'd he go? Aaron? Are you kidding me? He was right here. What I still have his number. Sounds like he's close. Damn, dude. That guy's on Darren's tail. Can't blame him. He wants her money. Who is it? Is this Lewis? Darren, stop the car. Spider-Man? Can you at least stop these guys chasing me? You weren't trying to retrieve those things. You were the one behind the robbery in the first place. I care about these objects. You pretended to care. And then stole from the museum. It's this community's history. It's my family's history. I don't expect you to understand. I don't think I'm the one who doesn't understand. Let's get these other bad guys out the way first. We gotta stop this and put all these guys behind bars. Including Darren. Yep. Wow, that really threw me. Oh, are you still there? Look, my father was one of the most successful music producers ever. He produced half the artists in that museum. Good for him. Now stop the car and tell me where the rest of the pieces are. He ain't gonna do it. He's a little jerk. Here we go. Not today, Terry. Glad I remember which one was the break. I should probably get my license one of these days. <laughs> That's right, he doesn't need to drive. <laughs> Just so I get this right. All that talk of supporting the museum. All Angela's time you wasted asking about operations and security. All lies. So you can learn how to steal the collection. But my family... No. I'm sure you do care about this music. But those things don't belong to you. They belong to this community. Let's go, sir. You're under arrest.
This event would not have been possible without our wonderful curator, Angela, mm -hmm. and this entire community. The way we pulled together to recover the stolen items is nothing less than amazing. Okay, okay. Thanks to everyone for saving me. And thank you for I'm so excited for this. I love music. Yeah, those are some funk beats. You gotta study up on this guy. I wonder if these are real people. Clyde Stubblefield laid down some of the most influential and most sampled funk rhythms ever recorded. His drum patterns laid foundation not only for funk music, but much of hip-hop. <laughs> a dancer, singer, and comedian, Florence Lewis. Shot to stardom after her role in the hit 1920-way Broadway musical Shuffle Along, an outspoken advocate of equal rights for black Americans, she was a powerful role model and broke numerous racial barriers. Thank you, Florence. Yet again, if you were real, I hope you were. A Trinidad-born American, I'm glad Hazel to say Scott. I that much someday. Hazel Scott was a piano prodigy and a virtuoso who received scholarships to study at Juilliard at age eight. Wow. She became an acclaimed jazz and classical pianist and vocalist throughout the 1930s and 40s in New York nightclubs. The first black woman to have her own television show in America, she used her visibility to advocate for civil rights. Yeah, she's definitely real. Like, that's a picture of a person. All that? And she was a secret agent fighting Nazis? Huh. Josephine Baker, role model. Yeah, this was the name I, I realized, Josephine Baker. I swear this sounds super familiar to me. Josephine Baker was a firework, an entertainer, civil rights activist, and undercover agent in the French Resistance during World War II. She captivated audiences around the world. The first black woman to star in a major motion picture in 1927, she made a splash performing at the Folies Bergeres in Paris, I'm going to assume. <laughs> Sometimes accompanied by her pet cheetah. That's awesome. Is this Mr. Saxman? It is. How you doing? Hey, I heard you helped find the missing saxophone. Yeah, I got to hold it. Bird coax miracles from that hunk of metal. My dad was a big Charlie Parker fan. He'd be happy to know the sax is here for everyone to appreciate. And maybe lead them back to the music. Music is magic. I agree. I love music. Absolutely love music. Can't get it up. Thank hey. you. I guess it all worked out. This museum is fire. And so much music I want to go listen to now. <laughs> right? Bro, oh, it's so inspiring. You want to have breakfast tomorrow? I can tell you all my new music ideas. Let's do it. I'm going to keep checking this out. Genki is super cool. I don't know much about the Miles comic and the storyline, but I swear to God, if Genki ends up being evil and a nemesis, I'm gonna fucking lose it. <laughs> Miles, isn't this place awesome? I'm embarrassed to say I've never been here before, but after hearing about the robbery, I thought I'd better come check it out. <laughs> From what I heard, that guy convinced himself all this stuff rightfully belonged to him. Crazy what some people can convince themselves is true. looked at all this stuff. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything, you know? Oh, what do we got here? Down on Lennox Avenue the other night, by the pale, dull pallor of an old gas light, he did a lazy sway. He did a lazy sway. That's some lyrics right there. Langston Hughes wrote poetry, plays, in, and novels, and was greatly influential during the Harlem re Renaissance. He wrote for black people, about black people, in the style of a black art form, jazz. His words mimic the swing, the rhythms, and the repetition of jazz.
Claude McKay was a Jamaican. Music can really make a difference in the world. Was a Jamaican American poet, novelist, intellectual, and political activist who became a central figure of the Harlem Renaissance in the 1920s. His poems celebrated Jamaican culture and pushed back against the racism he experienced when he came to America. I'm sorry. I we were hoping you'd be here. Oh, wow. Your mom is something else. That she is. Can you believe that guy pretended to be a donor and then robbed the place? Thank God he didn't get away with it. I agree. This stuff needs to be here. Not in some guy's penthouse where he's the only one who could see it. Old trombone. Art. What is this? That's a cool art piece. Sick guitar. I like this one. What is this? It's so cool how other people have been able to do music and save the world stuff. Gabriel Jones, who was an accomplished jazz trumpeter in the 1930s Harlem, who studied Danny Drummer Bellamy. The two remained friends and played music together before Let's Get the Army Intelligence during World War II. Bellamy was held as a POW by the Nazis and valiantly gave his life while saving humanity from a Nazi virus. Jones later served in the Korean War and served alongside a distinguished career. And S.H.I.E.L.D. Jones and Bellamy. Hmm. I don't know them. Angela, I'm Miles, Councilwoman Morales' son. Miles, she talks about you all the time. Congratulations on the exhibit. I'm glad it all came together. Thanks to your mom and Spider-Man, of course. Whew, this neighborhood is blessed to have them both. That's what I'm talking about. What do we got here? <gasps> hey, Teo! Hey, Miles! I figured I'd better come see that saxophone in its rightful place. It was your tip that helped with the saxophone recovery. Aw, oh, not really. It was all ours, Spider-Man. The guy, not the cat. Well, it was a community effort. Give your Spider-Man some ear scripts for me. I will. Here it is. Huh. So basically, Bebop let musicians show off. Eugene was right. That is what MCs do. <laughs> Gotta listen a little more closely. Saxophonist Charlie Parker, also known as the Bird, helped develop the Bebop style, which expanded possibilities of jazz music by speeding up tempos, adding more complex chord progressions, and allowing for virtuosity and improvisation. That's <laughs> just getting down, dude. Come on, head out. Have I... I thought I looked at everything. Did I not? Or is that just kind of like... Okay. This is your last opportunity. Nothing about the drums. And I caught all these. So yeah, I think we're good. Thank you all. Thank you so much. <laughs> Angela told me the museum has a record number of new memberships. Seriously? They're going to be OK. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you, Ma. Now hear me out. What if we really teamed up on the next one? I can get my own suit. Ma. Maybe. Algo con brillo. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Dance with me. Show me how to sauce. <laughs> I love them so much.
Oh, snap! Look at that, dude! Ooh -hoo! That suit looks sharp! Oh, God, we got... Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah, okay, that's his first suit. That suit looks sweet! <laughs> In my second playthrough of the game, I'm using that one, dude. Holy crap, that looks sweet. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my freaking goodness, that looks nice. I might use that yellow, that mustard yellow on the right, though. That looks sweet. Oh, man. Damn, you look sharp as hell. Okay. My gadgets are all fully upgraded. Okay. So now I can just whatever my suit tech desires are. Um, let's do... that guy. Yeah, and let's do damage up. 117! Oh, I can still do this. Finally increase my health a little bit. I'm sure the one person watching is like, dude, would you just fucking upgrade your health? But you know, I'm playing on easy, so I can't even be knocked out, so I'm not too concerned. What is this one? Oh yeah, Mega Venom Blast, meter gains are increased. I totally forgot about the Mega Venom Blast. Radial flash that binds. Okay. Anyway. And then, I know that there is, see, I thought we were going to have to hunt down more museum pieces than that, but I guess not. And then there's this guy, Graffiti Trouble, that only Miles can do. Okay. those recent thefts at the Harlem Cultural Center? Turns out, Darren Shipman was pulling the strings. If that name sounds familiar, it's because he's a multi-millionaire with his name on everything, because his money is in everything. So, we have a special guest today to drop some knowledge on us about an exciting new opportunity for budding artists to share in the joys of responsible art. Please welcome renowned street artist and head of the Cooper Art Coalition, Haley Cooper. Hi, Danica. I'm Genki Lee, Haley's interpreter. She's signing next to me. She says she's concerned. Oh, excited to be here. I'm still learning. Damn it. I didn't want that to get cut off. You son of a bitch. Stop, dude. Get away from me. I don't... Oh my God. I mean, fuck it. I might as well do it then. I hope that Dana cast continues. Probably won't. With my luck. Are there Dana cast collectibles like there was in the last game? There is not. 
unfortunate. Okay. Graffiti trouble. On here, am I missing it? Is it this lady? Oh, it's probably this ambulance. Oh, there it is. Jesus, heard someone tagged your shop. Yes, it was hideous. Until someone else showed up and painted over it. Such detailed work. Best thing to ever happen to me. Business has never boomed. No. Bloomed <laughs> like this. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Well, when you see them, tell them I said thank you. Hmm. Oh, here she is. You can thank her yourself. Hey. I miss. Thank you for your services.
<laughs> Sorry, cat. So we gotta get up there. Oh, okay.
Wow. <laughs> You're amazing. You know that? Wait, 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 wait. I thought you were here buying flowers for them. Enjoy the autumn sunshine, okay? That was a pretty cool uh, story. You know, you got to live in Haley's shoes, you know, get perspective on what it's like to. Struggles sometimes. Beginning text to speech call with Haley Cooper. The kids at the hospital loved the flowers. Thanks, Miles. Hold up. How'd you know it was me? They were labeled Order for Music Man. Not very cryptic. Oh, well, hey, I want to support what you do for them. It's really cool. Thanks. You're really cool. Later, Music Man. No. When they gonna get together? You know what I mean? When it gonna happen? All right. It looks like that is all we can do as Miles for the time being. So let's switch to our boy Peter. Continue this good old story, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Hope Harry's figured out where Doctor Connors is. Better check in with him. Gadgets, suit tech. like right here. Arson. What? Special tech parts take priority. Did the crime go away? It did. It was only rare. How could they do this to me? I'll have a check mark, but this one. I wonder if I would have any better luck with Peter. Maybe, probably not, right? Uh, nah, we'll just do the we'll do the story mission. I have a feeling we're going to be fighting the lizard soon. Thought Connors disappearing out of nowhere for a while. Any sign of Connors? Nothing yet. It's MJ. Bad news. Connors' house is crawling with hunters and the doctor's MIA. 
good news? I think I know where to find him. Somewhere across the river. Maybe around. Let's move. He's waiting. Some more MJ stealth missions. Good times. Sable paid off sooner than I'd hoped. A zoo. Hunters has to be around here somewhere. I have to tell Pete. That window looks open. The light. Where is that van? Some kind of genome readout. Trying to reactivate his reptile genes. They've been studying Dr. Connors. Oh, God, they want to hunt him, too. That's unfortunate. The guy just wants to be left alone, turn over a new leaf. A lot of hunters in there. Looks like they've set up shop here. Snuck up on. You might get a better view from the roof. Poison dart. In the wrong place, girl. I will put you down humanely. Nope. Gotta split him up. So many have tried to kill him, human and beast. Right. Buried alive beneath rubble. Grabbed in the jaws of a lion. On my way there. Here. So I came through that way. These doors, maybe? No, Is right there. there. Vulture. Oh my god. Vulture. Did they. I need to find Connors. No way. Another night tainted by the silence of death. I wasn't sure I could clip his wings. Perhaps that would be my weakness, but no. 
Not even that could save him. He's dead. Dude, Craven is a fucking menace, man. Phone. Connor's cell phone. Oh, please don't die. Harry, it's MJ. I'm at an abandoned zoo in Jersey. It's... to get in the cage and Connor's shackles need that key just have to find them all right MJ learn a code steal some keys you've done worse to be nearby. I've only seen one of Craven's hunts in person. I still have dreams about it. This one will be special. The hunt of a lifetime. One day, and I'm training. I aspire to be what he is. If he get... <sighs> the hunter with the code came this way. Where is she? and write down their passwords. Some kind of ranking system. <laughs> Guess she's Garin's boss. Good for me. Vika, Angus Bojok, Balasoy. Simkarian poetry must be her first language. Vegre, you'll hear. Her Simkarian is perfect. Hopefully, mine is convincing. All right, let's get that code. Come on, MJ. Your Simkarian is still good. Enough. Just answer. Itvika, Vika, Monguznok. Vika, the tech word. Garin elegem van a hiva saitból. Hol vannak a kezülékez kódok? A kódok sorozata az információs táblán van. Tudhatnád? Te pedig azt tudhatnád. Milyen hangon beszélhetsz velem? Ne hív többet, mert a fejedbe kerülhet. <sighs> That felt kind of nice. All right, better move before he comes looking. Where's that whiteboard? There you are. Codes for the enclosure. Got the code. Now for the key. Hold on. I'm gonna snap a picture of that just in case. Um... Because if I gotta get into what, the lion's den or whatever? 
Those are other areas look like maybe. Okay. And then I'm gonna have to zap some pools. to get Connors out. Shit. Some dogs. I can't do anything against the dogs. Raven will dispatch his prey. Or I will. my first uh zap and the shit out of you I think they took the keys to the reptile house have to get over there fast oh shit it's almost time craven is nearly ready it's good to hear Is she in? No, 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 no. Get the hell out of there. Where's that guy? I saw a head way over there. Hunter with the keys went this way. Getting close. into it. Oh, 
Those guys are like fighting or something. Good man. There are no good men. Only good prey. There's a lab in the atrium. Might have a serum. Serum! I don't have much time. Then we'll buy you some. Right up the hill. That glass building. Please, hurry. We'll clear a path. Keep your heads down. Don't worry, Doc. We'll get you to that lab. You're not turning tonight. Talk. The hunters must have a death wish. First the food is known, now the lizard. Seems like they're just doing their boss's dirty work. Their benefits must be crazy. Now look who's joking in a bad time. You're learning! <laughs> Come on. 
This feels not great. Just think, this will definitely be your coolest scar. <laughs> yeah, MJ. I don't think. Am I breathing? I'll kill you, Harry. Do it then. Look out! Nothing. Remember in fifth grade when you. No. No. You gotta stay awake, buddy. Wait. No! MJ, get him out of here. I'll handle this. MJ, I'm on my way. What are you? Track the lizard. The spider is mine. Hovering. I'm fine. Maybe some water. Water. On it. So... 
the suit cured your... Yeah. Which means without it, you... Yeah. Okay. We gotta figure out how to get this back onto Harry. How did you give it to me? I... I, I don't know, it just... Sorta happened. Okay. Uh, let me try. Pete, there's something in here. What? Uh, uh. Okay, not what I. What the? Uh, Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Let me try it again. Dr. Connors. <laughs> Except <laughs> he's a drilling reptile right now. Craven. The, the serum. He had it around his neck. That's what he used on Dr. Connors. If we find that serum, we, we could analyze it, use the equipment here to, to engineer a cure. And bring Dr. Connors back from the land of the lizard. I'll start tracking down Craven. He's probably already cleared out of that zoo by now. Well, lucky for us. He left a piece of himself behind. There's this pawn shop in Little Odessa that specializes in rare artifacts, just like this knife. Let's start there. Good thinking. Weirdly enough, I feel energized. It does. It did that for me, too. How does this thing work? Honestly, I can't explain it. I just think the suit listens. Okay. Maybe it'll help with finding Craven and his serum. Just don't get stabbed this time, please. I usually try not to. I'll be fine. I promise. Well, everybody watching, we got the symbiote suit. It's fantastic. Are the webs black now? Yeah. <laughs> That's super cool. Um. I didn't unlock a new suit. 46 is the next one. And for Miles, 44. Okay. Skills. Press L1 and triangle straight towards enemies, gathering them up and launching them into the air. I don't know, man. I'm contemplating because, like, we are, what, 54% of the way through the game? Okay. So, yeah, I guess we'll put some skill points into the Venom capabilities. What's this one? Abilities are partially recharged after... Hit for every enemy hit with the Mega Venom Blast. L1 triangle to strike towards enemies, gathering them up, and launching them into the air. 
Grab multiple enemies and pull them towards you. Okay, so the abilities... Let's actually do... Yeah, we'll keep the spider rush because there's a trophy I'm trying to get where I need to do a certain amount of finishes and this it's the spider rush and the cyclone I think are the ones that I have the best luck yeah because I don't really care about the fury the venom punch is sweet though no fuck it let's let's go all in on it who cares about the trophy we're gonna we're gonna ride these powers while we have them. All right. All right. Any new quests? Nope. Nothing. The flames have been lit. Get intel on Craven and retrieve that lizard serum. Ah, oh, here we go. I'm sure you've heard by now that Mac Gargan, the scorpion, has been found dead. His stinger removed like a trophy. One can only assume this was at the hands of the hunter. Are they doing what the ineffectual Spider-Men won't and removing these dangers permanently? Then again, maybe Spider-Man has finally changed his tune. I, for one, say, let them wipe each other out. They're not making our world a better place, and the less of these mass marauders roaming our streets, the better. When they're gone, we can turn the corner back to simpler times. Wouldn't that be refreshing? I yearn for the days of normal news coverage when I could attack the real issues, like the tanking economy or the corruption of our youth, instead of being forced to cover spandex buffoons who make life for the average Joe a waking nightmare. One day. <laughs> One day. Someone break in? What happened? Hunters. They've been coming through here for days. <laughs> Sorry I wasn't here to help. Nah. Could you tell me about this antique I found? It, uh, almost killed me. I cannot help you. I've seen this symbol before. Please leave. Wait, I can protect you from the hunters. I'm not worried about them. I thought I left this behind on Volgograd. The flames have been lit. This is his jungle now. Craven? Craven off. The flames have been lit. <sighs> Dude! MJ told me you almost died. You okay? Hey, Miles. Actually, never felt better. I should have been... Wait, really? Positive. Hey, let me call you back. Got some bonfires to crash. Uh, okay. I don't like this, man. Peter's and Peter and Miles, they gotta... Poor Miles, man. He's just, he's at a point right now where he's lost, you know? He needs some guidance. You think Kevin will be at the feast tonight? Hey, it's more for us. But who knows? The gathering is a ritual that goes. Yeah, but whatever. I'm fine with it. What's this I hear about lighting some fires? <laughs> <laughs> Guy. Kick your ass, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, the fire's doing up well. here. Vodka 
from Volgograd? Hmm. Looks like it's for some kind of party. Wonder what they're celebrating. Pretty rude of Craven not to extend an invite. Never stopped me before, though. Out of you and see if it finishes you off. You gonna get fried up? No? Whack. Let's see what they were up to. Of different bases and stuff. It looks like, or bonfires, anyways, that are going to be. They're shipping in more luxury goods from Volgograd for this event. Something going on here, but These what? These shipments have to be coming in nearby. No airfields here. But what about the docks? Mm -hmm. Maybe something there can lead me to Craven. Yes, there you go, Charles. Oh yeah, they got some snipey snipes. Don't make me ask again! Ah, I told you! I, uh, that's everything! Where is the rest of our ship? Clear. That guy needs my help. I'll get him. I didn't want to do that. That was the wrong guy entirely. Thanks, game. Why would you do it to that guy? But there's literally a guy I'm looking at. Go check on the dock worker. I did a number on him. Easy, easy. You're in pretty bad shape. Let me help you. Hospital. Please. There's one close by. You're gonna be okay. I thought they were going to kill me. What did they want? Some cargo went missing on the journey. Here. They thought I took it. Parkour, parkour. You're safe. Now, where's the drop off? 718, Kent. One dude right now. Hey, buddy. How you feeling? I'm fine. What's happening? Craven, or Cravenoff, is hosting some party at 718 Kent. Figured I'd stop by. Looks like a social club. 
Hang on, I'm almost there. Looks like a busy night. Are they gonna do like a oh, fight club? The is here. They're more riled up than usual. Just keep your head down. And... How are you getting in? Kitchen entrance. You should change. The classic Peter Parker look isn't gonna cut it. Too bad my tux is at the dry cleaners. This to Mr. Cravenoff's bodyguard. His bodyguard? Dima! Move! Well, sounds like your shift's starting. Yeah. I'll leave you to it. Better go find Dima. Order up! How are they eating so fast? Don't keep them waiting, move! Gotta find Dima. Uh, Dima Z's nuts. Swanky. I clean up pretty nice. And I'm feeling great. Coming into the kitchen and trying to light me on fire. That was only one time. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> Interesting choice. It reminds him of home. Keep moving, or I'll break your bones. A 300-year-old sleeping dart will never work. You are so certain, are you? Show me, then. I'll show him, too. Yes? Take him. <laughs> Let him squirm. Uh. The poison is ancient, and you don't even know how to use that thing. True hunter, adepts. Sleep well, my friend. Those hunters were nuts. Can't believe the suit listened to me. Wish my suit had a neural interface like this. I could work with Harry, do the hero gig, and take a vacation all at once. Did you see he had the tusks bolted upstairs? Yes. He is proud of that kill. Damn, she looked good. He should be. Anyway. Get in and out of Wakanda undetected. Wakanda? That's probably the maitre d' by the podium. Has one of the shield bearers arrived? Ah, uh, yes. He is in the other room by the fire. Will Mr. Cravenoff be joining us this evening? Uh, there are some... Uh... Mm. Quite right. <laughs> Damn. Craven isn't here. Shield bearer. Huh. Sounds like a bodyguard to me. I'll rip him in half with my bare hands. He's not your target. You kill him. Okay, okay. <laughs> Must be him. <clears throat> Your meal, sir. What the hell is this? Um, I was told to deliver this to Mr. Cravenoff's personal bodyguard. What makes you think I'm him? <laughs> uh, you know, you're, uh, huge. Dima's very hungry. You should leave now. So funny. I was just about to do that. Look at this man's mustache. He was looking up at that room. Gotta find the elevator. 
that's just the shield bearer, what the is Dima gonna be? Not Dima as a lady. Or is it the I don't want to serve him anymore. Tiger. Simple as that. We'll see Tiger. how you feel next time when you have to. Coming through. Uh, sorry. I'll be sorry. Move! Coming through! Uh, 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 this... Uh, this mess! If everything isn't perfect, we're all dead! Coming through! No! No! No, wait! Uh, 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 why were you standing right in front of the door? I told you to wait! No, you Come didn't! On. I was just minding my Come business. on! Shut up, both of you. Pick everything up and let's move. Yikes. We find Dima, we find Craven and his weird blizzard serum. Easy. You wouldn't happen to be Dima. Crap. Well, that explains the secret menu. Someone's a little angry. A tiger. That's new. All right, let's give Dima something to eat that isn't spider flavored. Raw meat must be somewhere. There we are. Something in that study might help me find Craven. But first, gotta break out the apron. That hunter's right there. A meal fit for a Russian tiger bodyguard. Just one? That sounded weird. Ooh. Steal a sleeping guard. I have to make a few minor adjustments to this meal. Where's that sleeping hunter? Oh, okay. That's what you're saying. He was over here, I think. No, nope, he wasn't. I'm immediately wrong. Bodies by that sleeping hunter. Shh, our little secret. Sleepy time for Dima. Snooping time for Peter. If this doesn't work, there's only one other thing on the menu. Me. Fisticuffs. Hi, Dima. I'm back. With a little snacky snack. Too much catnip. I'm sorry, buddy. A chef spidey masterpiece. <laughs> Guess Craven's too cool for his own party. Should look around in case he left the lizard serum somewhere in here. <laughs> Must have just missed him. Sergey Cravenoff. Sasha Kravenov, Vladimir. He's Sergey, but someone's name is crossed off. I'm pretty sure he's Craven Craven praying? He's doing something. I don't know what. He's doing something. Hey, kitty. So Craven has a pet tiger. That tracks. 
Why would you touch it? Can you continue to pet it? Oh, you're not so scary, are you? I'm gonna oh, do it again. I don't care. Cute when you're not trying to eat me. <laughs> okay. You can like full force sprint in here. That's alarming. Don't see Craven's lizard serum here. But what are these potions? Yeah. Wonder if this is how he's so freakishly strong. Has to be. Let's see, anything else we got? So there's a study up here. No serum. These drugs are for late stage chemotherapy. Huh. Are these Cravens too? I think maybe his wife. It is time to pray. My mother opened every hunt with these words. Others spent the nights feasting, drinking themselves into oblivion. Not us, not the Kravenovs. To us, the hunt was sacred, a duty from a higher power. Predators forced the weak to grow strong. We shaped the world, she would say. Gathered in the candlelight of our chapel, we shared bites of Pascha felt the anticipation in our bellies build, ready to honor our ancestors. Feel their blood course through our veins. Though she is gone, I still honor the tradition. The fires have been lit. The chapel prepared. Tonight I will pray for what I hope is the last time. Now the hunt begins, and if I do not return, all the better. The chapel prepared. Saint Sophia is only a few blocks from here. Craven has to be there with the serum. Time yeah. to move. No, I want to see what this is. Craven didn't hunt. know hunting could be so existential. And He's better read than I would have thought. Nothing like some light philosophy between hunts. I mean, yeah. Hopefully, that was a pretty good accent. I don't know. Might have been. Might have been terrible. I don't know. Either. Okay, let's get going. One last pets. One last pets. I want to pet him. Wake up! Don't wake up! Okay. It's not what it looks like. Keep him alive. <laughs> 